In order to continue our travel adventures, we flew all the way from Japan to the other side of the world. We landed in Colombia. Our city of choice, Cartagena, where we got to enjoy some mud volcanoes? Also, stay tuned to the end of the video for three important tips that you need to know before coming here. Before we get into some of the city's most popular districts, let's get a quick overview of Cartagena. Cartagena is also known as Cartagena de Indias. It is a port city located on the northern coast of Colombia and is part of the Caribbean coast. It is a former Spanish colony, actually the first, and was founded in 1533, but has actually been settled by indigenous tribes all the way back since 4000 BC. It was the center for political and economic activity in the region, and in 1984, Cartagena's colonial walled city and fortress was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This was also the first colony to break away from Spain and South America. Now, in Cartagena, the main attraction that you'll probably be spending most of your time in is the old walled city. The old city had these giant fortress walls built around it to defend from pirates and other foreign invaders. It is one of the oldest cities in the Americas, and its old city offers a unique blend of colonial architecture, vibrant culture, and old world beauty. From its impressive fortifications to its cobblestone streets and colorful buildings, there are many things for you to explore here. We spent a lot of time just wandering around and taking it all in. There are lots of churches, museums, plazas, restaurants, cafes, bars, statues, and other attractions to see here. If you don't feel like walking, why not take a horse-drawn carriage? One thing you're really going to want to do here for sure is walk on top of the fortress walls, face the beach, and enjoy the sunset. We did that for a bit and then continued our nice view at a nearby rooftop bar, which leads us to our next to-do item. Enjoy the old walled city at night. Once the sun goes down, the entire atmosphere and vibe changes. The colorful colonial architecture becomes even more vibrant as more colored lights splash on their walls. You'll notice that people really love to go out and have a good time here. We spent more time taking it all in before making our way out of the city. If you happen to be here during the holiday season like we were, get ready for some more lights both inside and outside the walled city. You can book some salsa lessons for a fun night out in this area, or you can even book a walking tour from a local who will show you around and explain more of the history here. One to two days is a good amount of time to spend in the old walled city. Up next, we're heading to a nearby hipster district to mix things up. It was time to explore the neighborhood of Gethsemane. Gethsemane is a cultural melting pot with its vibrant street art, lively cafes, and bustling nightlife. You'll notice a younger crowd and plenty of hostels for all the backpackers that travel through here. The art here is amazing. There are so many small streets covered in paintings you can buy, large hand-painted murals, and eccentric designs and decorations everywhere. There are two standout streets here. One of them has flags from all over the world hanging above it, and the other one has something similar, but this time with colorful hanging umbrellas. Walk around, enjoy the vibe, take it all in. Now, just like we told you you need to check out the old walled city at night, we're going to give you the same advice for Gethsemane. This is the hot spot for the nightlife. So much so that if you choose to stay in this neighborhood while in Cartagena, you may have trouble getting some sleep. It can get loud. Stroll through the streets and take in the sights and sounds of this unique neighborhood as you explore its many bars, restaurants, shops, and galleries. Everywhere you look, there is something to do here. Grab a drink, go salsa dancing, appreciate some art, talk to the locals, or just walk around and enjoy the energy. After all that exploring, you're probably gonna wanna get out of the city and try something unique and relaxing. Or so we thought. If you want a fun and unique tour right outside the city, sign up for the Totumo Mud Volcano Tour. Bring a bathing suit because you're going to be taking a dip in the volcano's mud pool, which is said to have healing properties that can help soothe skin ailments and body aches. We hung out with the locals for a light snack before making our way up. Inside the Totumo volcano is a 2800 meter pit of mud, and you're going to be making your way into this carefully. Once inside, you'll realize that you can't even sink if you tried. It's an odd feeling because you can't even swim. You'll just kind of float there. 
But don't worry, there will be locals in the mud that help you out and massage the mud throughout your body. When your mud bath is done, you head out to a nearby lake and these older ladies then give you a bath to make sure all the mud is gone. We didn't film this part because, well, they take your clothes off or tell you to take it off as they wash you, which can feel a bit odd as there is no warning that this is coming. It's all very innocent though. If you're liking our content and want to see more, give us a like, subscribe, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time one of our videos is out. Okay, so knowing these three tips is gonna make sure you have a great time in Cartagena. Tip number one, it can get really, really hot here all year long. Always be carrying plenty of water because you're gonna wanna hydrate and you're gonna wanna protect your skin from the sun. So put on lots of sunblock, lots of cover-ups, whatever you can to shield yourself from the heat. Also, a lot of Airbnbs and places outside of hotels don't have hot running water, which sounds pretty terrible, except for it's so hot, you're not gonna miss it. You're actually gonna appreciate cold baths here. Tip number two, this is a very touristy city. When places are touristy, they're more expensive than normal. So don't expect it to be as cheap as you would assume it would be. And then in the walled city, there are lots of street vendors, tour guides, and rappers. Yes, even rappers. And they can be very pushy with trying to get tips from you or getting you to buy some of their products or services. A rapper might even come up and start rapping and if you sit there and act like you enjoy it and you don't say no right away, he's gonna ask for a tip when he's done. This isn't for free. Most things that are done for you there are not for free. So don't assume so they're gonna expect payment after or some sort of tip. Now here's a useful phrase for you guys that don't speak Spanish like I do. Say this, no tengo efectivo. No tengo efectivo. That means I don't have cash. Even saying that might not be enough, so don't be afraid to be assertive, say no, and walk away or keep walking. Of course, give a tip if you want, but don't feel forced to. We had never experienced people being so pushy like this, so stay on your guard. And for the last and final tip, be very careful at night outside the walled city. If possible, don't walk around outside the walled city at night. Take an Uber instead or take a taxi. A lot of the locals will even tell you this. Like any city, watch your surroundings and don't flaunt around expensive items. And also make sure to watch your drinks when you're out. This is more of a concern if you're going out and you're looking to party and maybe have too much to drink. So again, if you need to go somewhere at night, take an Uber or a taxi and watch your surroundings, like any city. Cartagena was a colorful, vibrant, and historical example of Colombia. If you want beaches, culture, and fun, this is definitely a place for you to escape to. If you want to see what our previous three-week escape to Japan was like, check out our Japan video playlist.